Hi friends, I'm Pat of Pat's Home Craft. Thanks so much for stopping by. If you haven't done so already and you don't want to miss another one of my videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button and click on the notification bell and select all. You can find the Crafting for My Cauldron Challenge playlist link in the description box. This challenge is hosted by Kiki of Kiki DIYs. Her channel link will be in the description box as well. I saw this really beautiful stand with a cloche at Home Goods, and I knew that I could recreate this because I thrifted a foot that belongs to a stand, and I didn't know what I was going to do with that, but I knew that I had to have that little foot. And now that I saw this, I knew exactly what I was going to do. So I purchased this mirror at Dollar Tree. I am painting two coats of truffle chalk paint from Waverly in Walmart onto this mirror. And once it's all dried, I'm going to use this gold metallic acrylic paint from Walmart. And I'm using my little stipple sponge brush and I'm not going to do but one coat because I want the brown or truffle color to show through. So I'm placing it all over, but I'm leaving definite areas that are not covered. I'm letting it be spotty. And in the corners, I'm going to use a brush to be able to get all the way in there. And once again, I'm coming through with my stipple brush and I'm pouncing the paint on. And as you notice, I'm not getting it into the cracks and I'm making sure to not make it an even coat. I am letting a lot of the brown show through and then I'll also do it all the way around. And as you can see, a lot of the truffle is peeking through. And now here I'm using some shiny Mod Podge. It is the gloss type of Mod Podge. And I'm just going to apply it all over because I do want a very shiny finish because I am trying to recreate a gold leaf finish. And now here is that foot that I was talking about. With my quick adhesive, I'm just going to glue the two together And I'm going to create the cloche part, and I'm using a bowl and this jar, and they're both from Dollar Tree. And I'm not going to use a jar, I'm just going to use the top. With my quick adhesive, I'm going to attach the top and create my cloche. I want my little serving dish to be very spooky, so I'm taking this zombie slime from Dollar Tree. I'm going to cover the inside of my stand with this plastic wrap because I don't want the slime to possibly mess it up. So I'm arranging the little zombie heads here in the slime. I have these eyeballs that I purchased from Dollar Tree and I'm going to arrange them in the slime. And how spooky is this little stand now? What I love about this is that now I have a really cute stand to use not just for Halloween, for any time I need to display something really cute. For this next project, I'm going to create a very spooky skull. So I'm taking this Dollar Tree plastic skull and I'm going to place two coats of ink chalk paint. I'm using my gold metallic acrylic paint from Walmart and with a very thin brush, I'm going through and 
I'm just retracing all the cracks that are in the skull. And I will also use the paint in the eye sockets and along the teeth. I am highlighting all the grooves and all the detailing that was lost in painting the entire skull black. I'm going to place this Dollar Tree gold pumpkin candle on top of my skull, but I want it to look extra spooky. So I want to melt the wax from the bottom of it and let it drip all along the top of the skull and have it dripping down over the skull. and. I noticed that I needed to cut the candle down because it was much too big. So after I cut it, I went ahead and melted some more of the candle at the bottom so the cut would not look so perfect. And before I placed my candle on top of the skull, I took my glue gun and hot glued it on and use the glue from the hot glue gun to create a very melted effect around the candle base onto the skull. I'm going to come through with some silver metallic acrylic paint from Walmart and I'm going to color in all the wax. I'm going to color half of the pumpkin itself. I at first wanted it to all be gold but I figured if I used gold paint, it would not really show up on the skull because I'd already used a lot of the gold paint for detailing. So I thought that the silver paint would really show up a lot better than the gold paint. And now I'm taking this Dollar Tree goblet from the Halloween section and this glass smoky plate that matches perfectly and I'm going to create a stand for my skull. I'm going to just glue on the plate to the goblet with my quick adhesive. And once that has dried, I'm going to take this Dollar Tree floral and now I'm going to place a lot of hot glue so they will all stick. And then I will place my skull on top also and for further adhesion I'm going to use my quick adhesive and now to give a little bit more detail and some color I'm going to add this purple Dollar Tree floral this skull centerpiece is so spooky and so cute I think with all its glitz and glamour This project is very simple, very easy. I'm taking these sparkly pumpkins from Dollar Tree and these plastic mason jars from Dollar Tree and I'm simply hot gluing the pumpkins to the jars. I will fill my jars with treats and with spooky things for my spooky display. I hope you've enjoyed my glitzy Halloween display. There's some glitz, there's some glamour, there's a lot of spooky, and most of all, it's a lot of fun. Please comment below and let me know which of my three projects you like the best. I had so much fun making all of them, I really don't know which one's my favorite, even though the little pumpkins on the jars at the end were very simple and not that hard to make. I still love them because they are so cute. If you're interested in how I made this Halloween ladder, please visit my All About Fall playlist link. I will provide the link in the description box. The challenge playlist of all of our YouTubers videos is in the description box along with our hosts channel links.
If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up like. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so by hitting the subscribe button. Don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Be sure to hit that notification bell and select all. Always remember to look around you for the beauty in your life. It's right there waiting for you to see it. Until the next video, have a spooky day.